Okay, so in this video we're going to learn how to set up the serial cable. So how the serial cable works is it's kind of like a Y. So this is the bottom of the Y, this plugs into your computer, and then there's the other two ends which are sort of like the tops of the Y. This is the power supply, so this is how your pin pad will get power. And then there's also the end that goes into the pin pad itself, which kind of looks like a network cable or a phone cable. So that just goes into the sort of the top of the pin pad here. Um, if you have a newer computer, you may not have a spot for this in the back of your computer, so you might be forced to use a USB cable. So the nice thing about the serial cable is that it does not require a software driver like the USB cable. You can just plug it in, and it should just start working. But um, the tricky thing is you have to know which COM port to put it on. So when you first turn on the pin pad, what you're going to do is you're going to see a screen that looks kind of like this. You're going to see three rows, CPX, next one says RS232, and then a bunch of numbers at the bottom. So what you got to do is unplug the pin pad, and then just plug it back in, just like that. And so it's going to uh, it's going to start starting up now. So what it's going to do is it's going to say a bunch of stuff in small writing uh, right on the screen. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wait for the screen to go blank. That's going to be your cue. And then you're going to press the blue alpha key as soon as you see initializing on the screen. So the screen's going to go blank. It's going to say initializing CPXPL. And then you're just going to push this blue alpha key right away. So the tricky thing with this is you got to be really quick because if you don't push it like right away, then you'll miss it and you'll have to start right over again. So there you go. The screen's gone blank. It's going to say initializing now. So it says initializing, so this is my cue to press the alpha key. And then I push the alpha key in. Oh, too slow. It's gone back to the ready screen. This is sort of the ready screen. So you got to unplug it, plug it back in, try again. So just unplug it, plug it back in. Just wait for it to start up. So you're just going to wait for the screen to go blank. Okay, screen's gone blank. That's our cue. And there's initializing, so I pushed alpha. Okay, so you should have two options on the screen now. One should be CPXPL, and the other should be M1 PSPD. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down to CPX, or you want to scroll down to M1 PSPD. So you push check, that scrolls you down, and then you just push the green OK button. So next you want to choose your language, so you can push check if you want English, or you can push alpha if you want French, so I'm going to push check for English. For message retries, you want to push alpha for off. For com type, we're setting up the serial cable, so we're going to pick RS232, so you just push check. For autobot, you're going to push alpha for off. For line speed, you should already have 9600 highlighted, so just push OK. Then for port setting, you want to scroll down to 8B no parity, so you push check twice, which highlights 8B no parity, and then you just push the OK button. For air checking, you want air checking off, just push alpha. For beep, beep is uh, in case someone leaves their card in, the pin pad starts beeping so that they don't forget their card in the pin pad. So you just push uh, check to turn beep on. It should show you the serial number, just push OK, and then it'll say welcome, bonjour, and that's it. You've just set up the pin pad to work with the serial cable.